Ah, the fourth day. Halloween creeps closer and closer still. I hope you all have been very good little boys and girls this year. Wouldn't want any of you to be taken down by something that goes bump in the night, now would we? Now then, kids, I gotta be honest with you. I'm sad. It's hard to get up in the morning and put the old happy mask on for the day. Are you like me? Well then, tonight's sponsor has just the thing for you. Dr. Skinner's Happy Pills. A revolution in a single-use capsule. Just one of these little guys and all your worries will melt away. No longer can the weight of the world rest on your shoulders when you can simply go all limp. Bite on the capsule to release the magic and lay back in peace. Side effects include... Well, that's weird. The note's just in there. Ah oh, well. Now folks, you know I want you to look your best this year whenever you attend an event, so I urge you to join in the running for a terrific t-shirt or a beautiful art piece by Raven. You know I wouldn't be caught dead without a comfy tea on my back whenever I go to these parties. So, all I have to do is comment down below or tweet at me. I'm in. And your name is automatically in the running. So, don't hesitate to make those keystrokes, people. Oh my, would you look at that? A phone call. My favorite portion of the show. Hearing from you guys. Good evening. You're speaking with Pumpkin Queen. Oh, PQ. I was wondering when a familiar voice would call in. Hello, Miss Kino. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just Dandy Queen. How are your preparations for the big night coming along? It always goes splendid with bad people. <laughs> Jokes aside, we are decorating the castle at the moment. A bit late, but I wanted to wait until the pumpkins I grow were big enough. Ah, oh, Robin, there you are. Put us jack o lanterns at the entrance of the castle. And tell Sophie that she did a good job on carving them. Why is it you're holding a carved melon? Never mind, I don't need to know. A, uh, um... A melon? Yes, a melon, I'm not joking. I'll send a picture of it later. It looks hilarious. Oh, I can only imagine so. Anyway, how about your stories? Have you collected anything extra spooky this year? Have I told you the story of Amira's lie yet? Let me get my book. I've been saving it up. There it is. Cornelia closed the door behind her in a hurry. Her hands moved swiftly towards the key inside of her pocket and locked it. A loud bang was heard from the other side of the door. The man had been chasing her down and now she had nowhere to go, locked inside the room without windows. She stepped away from the door and moved backwards. She yelped as he slammed a fist on the door again. I know you're in there! Open this damn door! he yelled. Cornelia took a deep breath. Her eyes wide open from fear as she was unsure what her next move should be. She turned around shaky and insecure. There were two more women inside of the room. When her eyes met theirs, she finally spoke up. I can do this! Please let me go home! Cornelia cried out. The woman on the right gave her a stern look. It seemed so icy cold that Cornelia was not sure if it was safer to be inside or outside of the room she was standing in. This is our job, you signed up for this. Now you need to learn how to finish it. The woman on the right replied. Signed up? You two forced me to do this. This is my life, this is my body. And you can't get to decide for me, she yelled back. The woman on the left covered her ears for a moment and gave Cornelia a shy look. Cornelia, I didn't like it either the first time. But you learn how to cope with it. Besides, what are we going to do if a boss finds out? Cornelia looked at her feet for a moment when that comment was dropped. She covered her face with her hands and tears began to stream down. Do you think it will make a difference? Either that guy or our boss is going to kill us, Emma. The woman on the right gave her an angry look. I am not going to let anyone harm us or even lay a finger on us. There are three of us and only one on the other side of that door. 
We can do this, but only if you take the courage and step outside. Bloody hell. One moment, please, Moschino. I'll be back in a second. Regardless! Status report! Please do not tell me those two are at it again. Protect the guests at all costs. If I find one bite mark, I'll make sure they pay for their actions. Robin and Zaphiel should know the difference between food and friends by now. I'll be joining you soon. Now go! I'm back. Sorry for the holdup. Is everything cool in the castle? Sounds like there was a... incident back there. A problem has occurred in the castle and I sadly need to get going. I'll be telling the rest of the story another time. It was nice talking to you, and I want to wish you a happy Halloween. Take care, PQ. Goodbye. Damn. I should have asked her if she'd sponsor the show. Oh well. I think that's a good place to sign off for the evening. Take care, everyone, and remember... Try not to get eaten before Halloween.